Heck y'all, Maple Man here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my Sims 4 gameplay called Arnett County Part 9. So, in the last part, I really wanted there to be direction. And I tried. We tried to get direction. Did it happen? No. So, in this part, we're going to try for direction again with some of the characters. And I have some ideas, some things I really thought about each of the characters and what I want them to do. But as we started in the last part, the main goal, get Mama her vegetable stand. Get her the vegetable stand. And some other things in the last part happened that sort of inspired me. I think you'll see it um, in this part if it all works out. Um, the boys, Tucker and Billy Joe, went to the drive-in and went to what I thought was going to be like this art hangout cool place. It wasn't, but maybe we'll find one. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. So I think that kind of sums up where we're at, where we're going. We have direction. <laughs> Here's open. <laughs> anyway, I think that's enough said for me. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything you'd like to say, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. I do read them, and when I can, I do try to reply. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Peace and love. Let's play. So, we are almost... Oh, we just hit $3,000. I didn't even see that. Oh, I guess because Luann came home. We were at like 29-something. Just in the last few hours, I had... Um, Mama harvesting everything around the neighborhood, uh, the Colonel fishing, and Randy uh, doing uh, crafting, woodworking, and just selling everything they made or found because we, I wanted to get to that 3,000 mark because I want <laughs> I want direction in this part. In the last part, I said we're, we're focusing on some direction for the characters, and yeah, that's, that's fine. It didn't quite happen, and... Um, it is Wednesday night at 9. I, I had an idea of how I wanted this part to go, but um, it kind of changed because I didn't realize it was middle of the week and late in the day. So um, I know we ended last part at the drive-in, but I thought, you know, uh, I thought at some point in the next, in this part of the next part, we would get Luann taking Watson on a date to the drive-in. And I think that's what they're going to do. I can't decide whether it's going to be a hangout or a date. Uh, I think it's just going to be a hangout and we'll see where it goes because her, Watson is just fascinated with her. I don't know if we're going to say love, but he's fascinated with her and she, you know, I think that maternal instinct is kicking in. It's been a while since she had Sue Ann and she wants to have some babies with uh, some potential husbands and even though Watson isn't single, it's not going to stop her. So let's and she is feeling fine, so let's go do this. Okay, we are at this fantastic build. I gave credit where credit was due last time. So she's gonna invite over Watson. She's still, she's gonna have to get changed out of that though. This is, um, he's gonna be right, oh, there he is. Oh, he's just, was there right away. Um, What should she wear? Oh, let's wear this. I don't think she's worn this yet. Okay, you can get changed behind the cars. That's good. Oh, that is fancy. Mighty fancy. Throw something on. Let's throw on some romance. Watch a movie. Moonlight Massacre 3. Moonlight Massacre 3. Lost Dog's Journey. College Cram. Okay, they'll watch College Cram together. It's going to be like a, a stupid college movie, and that's fine. I think they should sit together. And, yeah, Luann is looking fine. Oh, what's going on? Okay, yeah, it's a stupid college comedy. That's fine. Okay, they're going to watch it standing up. Can they not do anything while they're watching it? Um, oh, give them a heartfelt compliment. Yeah, he's talking throughout the movie and she's shushing him. Why is there a baby crib here? Oh, this is the nursery. I didn't see that the last time we were here. But it's also a nice foreshadowing for what might happen. Okay, watching the movie. Okay, you've done some of that. There you go. Compliment his outfit. Oh, they are happy to be together. Okay. Oh, it's already after 10. 
Okay, they're not going to sit down together. That's fine. Uh, let's, you know what? Let's just have a first kiss. Oh. They're having their first kiss. All right. So. Oh. Oh, give a suave kiss. She's very confident with him. That's great. So they're just pretty much going to make out while the movie is playing. Um. Oh, look at them go. That's the suave kiss. Okay. Let's go sit together. I want them to get all cuddly on these uh, benches. Is the movie still playing? Oh, no. The movie ended. Okay, the movie was very quick. The big TV's in the way. I can't get a good angle. Okay, they're sitting together. Oh, don't do a sexy pose. You're supposed to, like, move. Okay, give them an embrace then. Flirt. Don't go to sleep. I know you worked your four hours. You're exhausted, but come on. Okay, and this is all about romance. She's been waiting for, you know, or Watson is really into her, so... Just looking at them, they make a pretty interesting looking couple. But let's see if we can get it moving. Her biological clock is ticking, and I think that's what we're going to try in this part. See if, uh, you know, they uh, move it along. Fill up that crib in the background. Ooh, whisper seductively. Okay, they're both very flirty. It's a steamy exchange. Now, I'm not sure if they can woohoo anywhere. I think they can woohoo in the dumpster. They should be able to, but it doesn't seem to be letting us. So, we may have to take this elsewhere. Okay, at midnight, if they can't... Ooh, try for a baby in dumpster. Perfect, just as I said it. Let's see if this will work. Because Watson is a married man, but, you know, I've said that a number of times. And I've said it a number of times because I have a bit of a problem with it. In real life, people should not cheat. But this is Sims 4. It's all imagination, not real. Uh, oh, boy. they can't get to it. Why not? Oh, maybe it'll work this time. Oh, all right, they're into it. No, no, they can't get to the dumpster. Oh, shoot, that sucks. Okay, I wonder if she can travel with him somewhere else or if it's too late. Let's give that a try. Oh, that was sweet. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, so it wouldn't let me travel. Oh, he just walked into the washroom. He's like, okay, he's a little weird. He might be into things. Why is Sue Ann still up? <laughs> she reached creativity level four, which is fine. Okay, so she's going to ask him on a date because I couldn't, I know there's a way to travel together, but I couldn't quite figure it out. So we're going to go um, basically back to the house and just be a little discreet. Unless, is there somewhere else they could go? You know what? Forget it. Let's uh, go to Evergreen Harbor. Seemed to be their place last time. I think that's where they had their first date. We're going to go <laughs> to this abandoned building. <laughs> and oh my God, it's pitch black. But really, they're not going to do any of the date things. The only interaction they're going to do is they're going to find a dumpster that's available. I think that's one. Oh my God, it's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> Try for a baby with Watson. And then she'll have to, we'll have to take her home and see if it actually took or not because I don't think there's a washroom around here. <laughs> oh my God, and people are following them. Oh my God, no, no, no. A very fine dumpster is in use. Okay. Oh, here, use this one. Oh. Oh, they went to that one. Very good. I don't know if they're trying for a baby, though. Oh, okay. I hope, Hopefully they're trying for a baby, because they did this on their own. She's about to woohoo for the first time? I don't think so. <laughs> While they're doing that, okay, dumpster love. Very hot, very hot. <laughs> very romantical lack. I'm just going to see if maybe there is a quick washroom she can use to see if she's pregnant. And then uh, if she's not, we can try it again. I'm not seeing any washrooms here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, well, she'll have to go home and find out. If not, she'll have another date with Watson. It's fine. Okay. All right, this is romantic. Oh, that's someone's feet. 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen this before. Or at least I've never played it before. Oh, look, a rat. <laughs> Can we do anything with the rat? No. Nope. All right, well, thanks. Let's end the date early. Let's go home. It's 1.30 in the morning. Oh, let them have a little bit of romance. Well, their love is like way up there. I don't know, maybe Watson is the one. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm going to end the date. I'm going to send everybody home and then we'll pick it up in the morning. Mama has money for her. Oh, as long as somebody doesn't spend $3, Mama has money to make her vegetable stand. Okay, we're back home. It's 2 in the morning. Everybody's awake. Why? Okay, run to the washroom. Then I'm putting you to bed. Okay, why, why is everybody awake? Randy is okay. Here, you need to use the washroom. Use that then. Uh... Okay, yeah, someone's in there. Okay, I'm just going to put everybody to bed because they're all oh, still awake and we'll pick it up in the morning. Okay, I think we just had our answer. I didn't have Luann check to see if she was pregnant, but she just got rather sick as she was spraying the monster under the bed that Luann, Sue Ann saw. Yeah, she's scared because she had a nightmare. I love the new scared... Uh, emotion. Oh, now she's fine. Okay, go back to bed. <laughs> so I still haven't started the day yet, but lots of interesting stuff is happening. So Randy is up. He's just having his um, steak breakfast, I think. Meal O Champions. Tucker walked in and he's like chatting away in his alien voice. He's like, I really want to be friends with someone. But they don't seem to really want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? And Randy is just saying, just keep being friendly. I guess he's asking his uh, older brother. I couldn't remember if it was a brother or an uncle. Okay, Tucker, grab something to eat. Okay, you're going for a bath. That's probably a good thing because you stink. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to zip ahead and we are buying this shop. We still, no one has spent the $4 that would ruin it right now. <laughs> so I'm crossing my fingers. If not, that's going to go. I'm going to actually going to put that in Randy's inventory in case we need something to sell real fast. Okay, so they're just about cleaned up. All the kids are at school. I'm going to leave Luann here. She can sleep away and maybe we will um, check in with her later but let's can we buy a retail store I think this is how you do it all right we are at Magnolia Promenade we have three thousand and three dollars we have tons of food at the house so I'm not worried about them not being able having any money to eat so I don't think we actually have anything to sell because I've been selling everything except well maybe the the horse that um, the horse sculpture that Randy just put into his inventory. And we'll see if we can make a vegetable garden slash woodworking kiosk thing. <laughs> Let's build this. Except I just realized... <laughs> I just realized that... Um, <laughs> my god from the household funds to the current retail store confirm the transfer okay there's three dollars in the business we have no money to actually build this right now so i'm just going to give it a name <laughs> and hopefully hopefully let us save this with no putting nothing on the lot <laughs> okay so it's called mama's vegetables stand stand <laughs> Oh, we need a cash register. I don't know if it's going to let us do this. <gasps> okay, so it, uh, we own it. The, the It is incomplete, but Mama now owns this plot of land. I'm a landowner. Good going, Mama. <laughs> All we need is like a little bit of a floor, a cash register, a couple of tables. But we only have $3, and we actually have no household funds. This is going to be a great investment, although the family, the entire family, has $3 to their name right now. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to go back and have them work away on doing things to make money. Oh, it's great that it's right beside this, though. There's a washroom, 
and a little playground. So when um, Sue Ann and, you know, the new kid that's on the way comes over, it'll work just fine. Okay, so I am going to do that. I'm going to zip ahead a bit because I did do um, something that a couple of the kids can do once they're back from school. One thing that um, I I think was happening off screen. Oh, why are they all still here? Go to school. Shows are at school. Okay, well, we have a bit of a glitch here. <laughs> they're showing at school, but they're going to go do their thing. Okay, they're, they're kind of here. They're kind of not. Um, Mama was... Um, I'm going to have her dive for deals. I forgot you can try to get... Uh, treasures out of the dumpster which is fantastic um i'm gonna have tucker study hard billy joe will make friends <laughs> and sue ann will uh, make friends as well even though they are right here so i closed the game i logged off and i logged back in and everything and the kids although they're still showing at school I can play them. So <laughs> I thought I'll take this opportunity to uh, take them to one of my new builds. I did a few builds for the kids. Um, I wasn't planning on bringing Billy Joe to this one. I just called this the Science Center. I don't think I have it up on the gallery, but I might throw it up because I'm actually kind of proud of this. I'm not the best builder, but this place, the Science Center, is for Sue Ann and Tucker, because they have the scientific mind. She's the whiz kid, and he's, well, the alien. Now, hopefully they can get in this door. Otherwise, I might have to go into build mode again and fix this. But there's a whole bunch of sciencey stuff here. And there's computers. There's a little cafeteria. There's hamsters over here, a skeleton, um, some gaming over here, and some science equipment over here so I'm gonna let them do what they want there's also some stuff in the background I want to see if this does anything I think it may be part of uh, something else because I'm not sure exactly how they get in it but I thought it was cool and I put like the weather machine out here the rain collector obviously an observatory and we'll just see um, first of all if they can get in close and lock no can they go here oh yes go here together let's get into the science center it's raining okay tucker's taking a selfie at the science center he's probably like instagramming it he's like i'm at my favorite place but he has no friends because he is a loner so not sure who'd be reading it so do we know how to work with glitches or what they're showing at school but they're not at school it's a field trip and we'll get them working on some stuff here. Oh my God! Can they? Oh, view the comp, view the view it together. Oh, I'm going to enable the emotional aura. It's going to make them confident, and then I'm going to get them doing some stuff. I think Billy Joe actually, because he is really not a sciencey type. I think we'll have him. Uh, he'll just play a game. Let's have him play this game. I don't. Is that Blick Block? What's this? Oh, it's both Blick Block. Blick Block. There you go. There you go. He'll just go play a game. But these two, oh my God, they are on their field trip. They have to do stuff. I think, you know what, Sue Ann, I think you would go play with the hamster. I think you would. Oh, feed him a treat, release. No, play with, play with him. Okay, stop talking to Tucker. I know you're excited to be here. Tucker, you're hungry. Can you get some food? Ooh, Tucker can't afford this. Okay, well, I don't think he's gonna starve. Okay, he's got 20 hours. Oh, he's just gonna go on the computer. Oh, he's playing a game. Okay, well, Billy Joe's doing this. Um, no, I think, Tucker, you need to do something spacey. What can you do here? Oh yeah, that's the listening device. You could, okay, you can't do anything there. Oh, I did such a great build, they can't do anything. <laughs> Tinker at the robotic station. I think that's what you would do, Tucker. Absolutely. Billy Joe, let's keep you busy. Um, you should try to learn something. Here, can you uh, critique the artwork of the skeleton? You're going to go critique the skeleton. I'm not sure about this. Oh, you're doing it from like way back there. Oh, and you stink. Yeah, the kids weren't in the best estates. <laughs> I guess I didn't check that. I was just like concerned that they were showing at school. Okay, view it. Oh, I guess because he already critiqued it. Okay, view the skeleton. It's great. Or he still is critiquing it. Oh. 
activity low. Can you do something with this? Uh, feed it a treat. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's fascinating. Oh! And <laughs> Sue Ann just went and played the Blick Block game. That's fine. Okay, you can stop looking at the skeleton. It's not very exciting. I want to see you feed them the treat. Or are you just viewing him? Here, feed him a treat. Great there boy. you go. Oh, oh, that's cute! <laughs> Didn't get a great view on it. Okay, you don't need to feed him another treat. Oh, you had fun with that. That's fantastic. You are... Oh, God, you desperately need a shower. Okay, let's go to somebody... Okay, and you're starving. Okay, Tucker is starving. Oh, okay, that wasn't very good, whatever you did. What are you doing? Oh, scrap the craft? No. Keep working on it. I want to see what he makes. And, um, okay, Sue Ann, uh, I like that you're playing games, but let's, uh, let's see what uh, you can do here. I don't think she could do much as a child. That's unfortunate. What did we have over here? Can you do this? No, you can't do anything on that. Okay. It's getting really rainy out. Maybe you should just play video games. Actually, you know what? You're going to observe the sky. Hopefully you won't get struck by lightning. Okay. Billy Joe, what are you doing? You can do something. You can purchase a bug. We have no money. We have zero dollars. Oh my God. It is a thunderstorm. Okay, Billy Joe, you, you go play more games. Tucker is doing something fascinating. Sue Ann is, where is she? Oh my God, observe the sky, get in there. <laughs> oh my God, do not get struck by lightning. Oh, can you do the weather machine? Can we change the weather? No, you can't, maybe Billy Joe can. Oh, <gasps> change the current weather <gasps> to, um, Clear skies, clear skies. Let's clear this up. Okay, stop playing the video game. I want to see this. And Tucker, how are you doing? Oh, did you finish that thing? Do you have something in your inventory? Oh, because <laughs> Tucker is not here. Ah, he is. Okay, maybe he has something in his inventory. I don't know. I don't know what is going on. Okay, can you change the weather? Please just change the weather. Oh my god, hurry up, hurry up. I don't want anybody struck by lightning. Oh, and somebody could go fishing if they wanted here. But none of them are really fishers. Now, hopefully, that works. Oh, that was a little evil. I wasn't expecting that. Billy Joe has acquired the handiness skill okay it didn't work because it's showing them not here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to this is fun though this was fun they're they're doing stuff but hopefully this glitch with them showing at school fixes itself otherwise i think we're going to go back to the rest of the family now and then they'll come back home when they do i guess uh i am concerned that some of them oh i think that's the first time any of my sims have peed standing up <laughs> Yeah, and these are the washrooms. I thought I made them pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to uh, see if they can do stuff to make money. Okay, so I'm going to get them working on some stuff just to bring in some money. I don't think there's anything for Mama to harvest right now, though. Oh, uh, yes, there is. Okay, I'm going to get her harvesting stuff. We'll sell it. We'll get some money for that. We don't need much. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, Mama, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Um, I, we got quite a bit of money. Mama did some digging and found some cool stuff, which... Um, what is she doing? Filled with water balloons. What are you doing? I am trying to give these characters some direction. I don't think they want it, though. It is a bit of a heat wave, but okay, we'll let Mama do that. I'm going to build really quickly whatever we could do with $670. Oh, my God. I don't have to build walls. I have $60 left where are where's the retail here we go here we go fifty dollars for the cash register that is the cash register right oh my god it can't go on there oh no all right i think this is it 
<laughs> Actually, no, I will get one of those tables. And we still have $155 in the business. This is fantastic. Does she have anything in her inventory that she could put out for sale? <gasps> Here we go. Oh, set for sale, set for sale, set for sale. Here we go. Here we go, mama. Oh, I got to do the, okay. Um, price markup, 100%. I'm sure she's done some market analysis that shows those flowers should be that expensive. Why not? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and open for business. Open. All right. We are open for business. Mama is off somewhere. But here is her fancy vegetable stand. It's only flowers right now, but we will get more inventory. We will. We know this. So I'm going to play this to a little bit ahead, uh, maybe till about eight, you know, just see if she can sell a flower or two. Okay, we just spent 3,400 and something dollars, and she's got three flowers for sale. It's a start. It's a start. I don't know how much they're even going to bring in. $10. <laughs> All right, and we can make 30 bucks. Okay, Mama, I need you to go over here. Why are there no customers? Oh, 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 oh. Stop this lady. Stop her. Sell a flower. Oh, she's coming in to look at the flowers. Okay. Um, let's uh, get to know her. Who is this? Jayla Cardwell, a loiterer. No, we don't need to get to know a loiterer. We're going to just tell her off. That's an insulter. <laughs> oh, she's found out that she's, she's a snob. Jayla's a snob and a loiterer. Well, tough. Oh, and there's little Arlene. Mama Arlene and little Arlene. Do you want a flower? Okay, yeah, tell her off, Mama. I don't want any loiterers here. Ask the customer to leave. She's not a customer. Oh, little Arlene is interested. Greet her. Focus on the, on the child. She seems to uh, be interested in buying a flower. Okay, why have you not left? Here. Yeah, tell her to leave, then greet her. Mama Arlene, talk to little Arlene and sell a flower. We're hurting for money. I mean, we, this was not the best investment by uh, just window shopping. What? No, she seems interested. Let's answer her questions about the flower, discuss her shopping preferences. And, um, oh, scold? Cool. No, ask her price sure. range. Dobby. Kid, do you have ten that bucks? Huge. Do you have ten dollars? I'll give you a flower. Fascinating, fascinating. Please suggest options. I have three flowers here. Oh, this lady looks serious. Oh, and she is a customer. Offer information. All right, maybe little Arlene isn't the way to go. Oh, she doesn't like Mama Arlene. Look, this is what you're going to turn into when you're like 80 years old. Okay, let's work on discussing shopping interests with this lady here. Izumi. Oh my God, it's 8.30 already. Okay. I am not closing this store for anybody. We are making a sale. They're not that interested. Oh my God, this is going to take forever. <laughs> like, it's a flower. Buy it or not. Yeah. Okay, there's more people coming, but uh, it's getting late. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock. So, you know what? I am going to leave Mama here. I don't think she's going to sell a flower. Oh, but Luann brought in $72. That's fantastic. I'm going to change it up, and um, we are going to play the Colonel. Oh, I guess uh, the store closes if you leave the lot. Okay, well, you know what? Those customers were really just looking, and we need more merchandise. So the financial report for Mama's vegetable stand is um, items sold zero, but total wages zero. So not bad. I mean, like I said, we spent about 
dollars on uh, the vegetable stand and uh, made no money. But this financial statement balances. That's that's what accounting is. So the accounting is right. Okay, and Colonel, how are you doing? You are fine. Let's go out. Oh, and of course it's a storm. It's always raining in my Sims world now. I really wanted the Colonel to find Captain Whitaker again, but I don't think the ghost dogs and cats come out when it's raining. I could be wrong. I have a quick little scan, but I think this might be a bust. It happens. Captain Whitaker, where are you? Maybe we'll try one more place. This is, this is, oh, what's that? That's a dog, but that's not Captain Whitaker. Oh, it's a cat. It's Dixie. Okay, we're going to try one more place. So if you haven't noticed, I am obsessed with ghost dog Captain Whitaker. But they did make friends here at the Salty Paws Saloon before and decided that, you know, Mama had a long day at work. Uh, so did Luann. Um, and she's pregnant, I think, even though she's not showing. Maybe she's not pregnant. And, uh, you know, Randy could just, uh, they could have a night out here. I think they need to get inside. So are there any games or something they could do here? What's upstairs? Uh, just washrooms. Okay, let's get them doing something. You know what? Let's just dance the night away. Let's um, listen to jazz. Okay, listen to jazz together. And, uh, you know, they could get some drinks. Maybe Randy. Randy could order a drink. Order his favorite drink. The Colonel doesn't drink that much. Luann shouldn't. But Mama can definitely order a drink as well. She's had a hard day. Order your favorite drink. And uh, the Colonel and uh, Luann could just dance to some jazz. And I'm just going to... Oh, it's night night. Okay, well... Not that interested in that. I think we are going to leave this part here. I'm just going to have a quick little search for Captain Whitaker. See if we can see him. No, we're going to have to find him another day. Okay, well, uh, this part was fun. There was a little bit of direction in it. You know, I think it took us three times to get a little bit of the vegetable stand together and didn't make a sale, but you know what? It's just a starting point. Mama feels satisfied. She's happy. She's happy. She's like, you know, I have my dream vegetable stand up and running. It was a lot of hard work. I had to buy a cash register and a table. And yeah, I feel bad. I wanted the Colonel to find Captain Whitaker, Whitaker but didn't happen next time. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Till the next part, peace and love.